Hey, what's up, guys? Gamer Trend HD here on my career mode, and I'm going through the creation of Danny Anthony right now. So I'm gonna give him a nickname. Let's see if they did add any new nicknames to 2K13. Looking pretty much the same. Yeah. So they didn't add any nicknames to 2K13. Still the same ones as um, 2k12 and name my guy the captain so I'm gonna go position shooting guard play style athletic guys it is uh, an advantage to set your play style to athletic because when you set your guy to athletic the most expensive field that you wanna basically cover in uh, 2k13 my career mode Offensive uh, abilities aren't hard to um, upgrade. It's not the most expensive thing to upgrade. The most expensive thing to upgrade is your physical. All your physical abilities will be very tough to upgrade, especially speed, quickness, and all those type of uh, abilities. That is the hardest thing to you know cover. Very expensive, so you want to go with athletic, and it does give you an advantage in the rookie showcase game. Because you will be able to throw down dunks, finish around the rim, and of course it makes it easier for you to score because you will be a lot much quicker than you would if you would make your guy all around. All around is one of the hardest play styles to go with. So I'm going to set my guy's height and weight here to 6'4", 220. I think that's a pretty decent, kind of like a D-Wade. It is actually D Wade's height and weight, but I like that. Not too tall, not too fat, a little bit of muscle. So, guys, when you do set your height and weight, feel free to make your guy as tall or as short or as fat as you want. I know you guys also should all know that in 2K12, when the taller you'd make your guy, the less skill points you would earn. Now, and also, the shorter you'd make your guy, the more skill points you'd earn. Now, in 2K13, however tall, however short you make your guy, you're still earning the same amount of VC points. So, feel free to make your guy, you know, look however he wants, however tall you want him to be, however fat. Doesn't affect uh, how much VC points he will earn. So, let's go to the momentum shots outside. See, I think what they should have done in these momentum shots and all these signature... I mean, they have it in the shooting form, fadeaway, contested. They gotta add, like, escape dribble pull-up. They gotta add, like, LeBron's signature uh, escape dribble pull-up, Kobe's. I think they should have added all the players, like, what they do in that, um, like, the dribble pull-up. Like, what's Kobe's dribble pull-up move or LeBron's or Durant's. I think they really should have put that in. Would have been a great addition. I'm sure you guys would have liked that a lot. They missed out on that. But it's alright. They did put a lot of work into 2K13's gameplay. My career mode. My team mode, which is also great. Really put a lot of work into this game. I give 2K a lot of credit. And of course, you got Jay-Z. What is good music. Now... See, on the post hop shot, what they did add to 2K13, you have Compact, Crusader, Deliberate, Guacho, if I'm pronouncing that right. Those are additions to the game. It is new post shots. Now I'm going to go with normal, post drive, step back. This is also new. They added all those into it. I'm just going to do this real quick. My guy Danny Anthony is looking to become a real star in the NBA. Looking to overtake everybody and become the number one player. See, now when you go with athletic play style, guys, you will have these layup packages that you would like to start with. And this will help you out throughout your rookie showcase game and throughout the first couple games of your career. So layup packages you have rookie guard you want to go with basically the best one you could so you have rookie guard pro guard all-star guard and classic 
So the best one obviously is classic. Go to dunk package and just gonna pick a bunch of dunks. You wanna just just for the rookie showcase, you wanna get all the possible you know, all the possible dunks you could get in the rookie showcase. Just gonna basically put all of them. So guys, I will be making a video on the rookie showcase, and in that video, I will give you guys tips on how to get drafted number one, and I will attempt to get drafted number one myself. So I suggest you guys watch that, or we'll be coming out with that video soon. I'm just gonna set the rest of these dunk packages. Hang off two. So that's it. I got twelve dunk packages now this is something you guys I'm sure you guys all like it signature introductions you have your highlight film pregame one pregame two pre tip off one and two and that's basically your signature introductions they are pretty expensive you have you know LeBron James where he throws powder you have the D Wade rim hang you have a bunch of guys you even have Jordan uh, I think they put in some uh, Hall of Fame guys in there like Drexler Jordan they put in some old guys Pippen all that, that's all the good stuff, all the extra stuff they added to the game. Then they added, you know, where you could actually, like, pimp out your guy, make him, uh, like, get him fly, buy suits, watches, all that. It's just a bunch of, uh, costs a lot of VC points. I think they made that for you to buy VC points online. But, I'm sure you guys like that edition. I do like that edition too. So, guys, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you later.